Hello and welcome back to Simply Shirley's DIY. And today we're going to show you how to make all this furniture for this doll's house. Now we're going to make this chair, this armchair, as well as the settee. All the pieces are in front of me. They're all being sewn into size. If you want to look in the description down below, you'll see exactly what sizes you need. And we're going to staple these together with a bit of glue in between, wood glue. Um, we can use this sort of staple, just a hand staple. Then you have to uh, hammer the staples in just a little bit. Or you can use this, which is what we're going to use, and staple them in as well. It doesn't matter what you use. We've done the settee, the two chairs, we've got to add the legs but what we're going to do is we're going to make all the basic furniture first and then we're going to show you how to do the legs on everything in one go at the end. So put them on one side for later, I'm going to carry on with them in a bit. Here you can see is um, a piece of plywood, a thicker piece, this is going to be the bed and we've got here the headboard which is going on here and this is the bottom bit of the bed, that's just going on there like that. So. We're just going to do exactly the same, bit of glue and tack it on and then that's going to be the bed. Okay. So this is the living room furniture now, here's the settee, this will be the table and over here is the kitchen furniture, this is going to be the dining table and like some bar chairs for to sit on with a bench as well. Now we've got to drill the holes for the legs and to do that we need this template um, and what we have to do with this template is is we have to this enables us to drill at a certain angle so we're going to turn this piece of wood over here place the chair on top like this then I can get my template so you can see it properly and then I can place the template on here, see exactly at what angle I've got to drill, and drill down at the side of my paper. Now we're going to do the dining room furniture, and this is the living room table. Therefore we need a different template, and our template we've made just out of two pieces of wood that are screwed together at a right angle. This right angle then we can put on here like that then you can see on the piece of wood we've marked out where the corners where they're meant to be about one centimeter in and then Mr. Sepp can take his drill place it on the corner of the wood up here and down below and we will then drill at an angle and if we do that with all four corners we get them all exactly the same Before we start to put the legs onto our uh, pieces of furniture, the next thing I've got to do is I've got to give everything a good going over with the sandpaper. Now, I'm now going to do the legs on the furniture. Here I've got one of the chairs that are in the, in the dining room. Here's one of the legs. I've got to put the leg in here in a pencil sharpener and just turn it round a little bit so that it gets just a little bit of a point. Some glue in one of the holes and it goes. Then I'm going to take the leg and it goes in at an angle because we drilled the holes in at an angle and a hammer. Oh. And that's all we've got to do. As you can see, I've finished putting in the legs in all the pieces of furniture. Here's the table. It's 
just quite easy and what I've done is I've given everything a coat of paint in the colours that I, I want to match with the doll's house that we've got so as you can see the table's yellow I've also got some chairs and I've done them in a modern turquoise colour so as next there's a block a kitchen block that we can make here it is I've made a sink and a hob on the other side and this is just made out of one piece of solid wood the measurements are down below in this description and to drill these holes we use the force a bit this is a 20 millimeter force a bit and over here is a 36 millimeter force a bit this hole has to be drilled in really deep and these just in just a little bit mr set measured the middle of the holes um, they're 2.5 centimeters apart and then it looks just like a hob i just painted it white and the grey in here of course and I wanted a yellow but you could do it any colour you want and in the next bit of film you're going to see how you drill this. You've just seen me sand this block and I've already painted another one we made earlier so all you've got to do now is just paint it in the colours that you want. And here's the finished house with uh, all the furniture in, up here the kitchen, downstairs is the living room and here's the bedroom. I've made a few soft finishings, a few uh, covers for the bed and some pillows. I've also put a picture on the wall at the back in here and we've also made a lamp stand. Um, and here all upstairs we've just added a chair to the deck and that's it. Our finished doll's house.